Hey guys, welcome to the shop. So, went back out on the road last week. Wasn't intending on buying another lathe. Um, but I ran across this 1958 South Bend Heavy 10. Uh, three and a half inch bed. On Craigslist. And I suppose that I have it in my head that I want to uh, restore a lathe. Um, and I, what I mean by restore, I'm not sure, I, that, that word is like thrown around so loosely, restoration. Uh, I suppose I want to fix this lathe up. Uh, as you know, I have four lathes now and I have plenty. That's plenty for anybody. Um, and I'm fortunate enough to have four really good lathes that don't need any major work. I mean, sure, I could take them apart, clean them, paint them bring them up to uh, like a basement shop guy finish, which I eventually would like to do. But uh, in this instance, I have been looking for a lathe that uh, needs like major work. And this, this lathe seems to fit that bill. Uh, it's, a, it's a great little lathe. I think this is one of the lathes that everybody wants. It has the, um, the tool room cabinet. Uh, it's a small little guy. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, you know, it has the large bore for the uh, 5C collets. Um, and the, the major issue with this lathe is the condition of the, uh, the bed. The bed has a fairly large wear uh, in the ways. It's not a hardened bed. So my uh, thought is I would like to take this apart and actually go ahead and have the bed ground. Um, and I would like to, uh, you know, learn about the grinding process, learn about the scraping process, refitting the parts, and, um, and you know, making a, a very accurate machine out of a, uh, out of a used machine like this. So, uh, quick once over on the lathe. It, um, otherwise, it doesn't seem like there's anything else that's too bad with it. Uh, the bull gears, back gears, everything's fine. I've taken these, uh, these covers off. I've inspected everything. There's no broken gears. Uh, I took my um, camera phone and I took a picture up underneath here as best I could. Move this around. Uh, I don't find any broken gears in the, uh, in the transmission there. Uh, the, the end gears, they seem to be okay as well. Uh, there's nothing broken there. Um, I've uh, actually the this lathe came equipped with a, uh, a collar closer, arm arm lever collar closer, and uh, that was uh, that was actually broken. The arm was broken. Um, the gear cover is broken. Uh, that will be need to be replaced. The cabinet has quite a few dings and dents in it. Um, it's a 110 machine. But the motor only turns one way. It's not a reversible motor. And um, I, I'm going to go back and uh, switch it back to a three phase. And I'm going to put a uh, VFD on it so I can, I can get like a fine adjustment of the speeds and such. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to take it all apart. I'm going to give it a nice cleaning, the painting, the whole works. Uh, I expect this to be a quite a few video process it's not going to be a two or three video process I'm going to take it and uh, work on it in chunks uh, in the next week or so I'll be taking another I'll be making an initial video disassembling the headstock removing the carriage the apron the uh, quick change gearbox the lead screw um, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'll, I'll take the uh, the gear the gear train off that's attached to the bed um, I forget what that's called and uh, um, then I will, it'll be all stripped down so I can actually take the bed to the grinder. Uh, I'm going to actually dunk the, the uh, bed in, uh, in the purple power and the, uh, the paint remover. And I'll, I'll have the bed all cleaned up so when I take it to be ground, it's, uh, it'll, you know, I won't have to be doing the stripping process after the grinding. So at the, at the very least, I'll just be masking off the, the bed and I'll, I'll be able to... Uh, paint, uh, you know, repaint the actual chassis of the bed. And then from there, I'll be doing in subsections. I'll be working on the cabinet, restoring the cabinet, 
somewhat. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get a friend to uh, uh, water blast it. Uh, he has a, a water-based sandblaster and uh, get rid of all the rust in there and try to uh, go ahead and, you know, fix up the, the cabinet itself and give that a paint, matching paint job. Uh, so once I get the cabinet and the bed done, then, you know, it'll be a, a piece of cake. Send everything else back up. Of course, we'll have to be uh, looking at the wear of the carriage, uh, seeing, seeing, what's, uh, seeing what's up with that, if that needs to be uh, uh, possibly ground and tersited, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm going to do it one step at a time. But, you know, at least if I get the, uh, the actual cabinet and the, and the bed done, then I can take my time on the, uh, the small little pieces. And, and what I, I think uh, would be great about this particular lathe is it's, uh, it's heavy enough that it's, uh, it, people, people love it. I mean, this is a well-loved lathe, the uh, Heavy 10. Uh, so I don't think, you know, even if I spend more than the lathe is worth, I'll be satisfied that I've accomplished this type of job. Uh, but yet, in fact, the lathe is small enough where it's manageable for me to do it myself without any help, you know, um, to, to rip a 13 apart or, you know, take a gearhead apart. Um, you know, all the parts are just going to be too heavy. I really don't have any help at the shop. And um, so I would be struggling with that. So this, you know, I mean, the compound across, it's all tiny little castings. It, it'll be simple for me to deal with it myself. Um, and, uh, and I, and I'll tell you, I'm, I'm going to, uh, probably do like a, uh, automotive grade finish on this. I'm not certain it'll come out looking like a car, but I'm going to use the automotive quality, uh, paints. I'll try to use some kind of activated, uh, epoxy paint or, uh, activated urethane. So it's, it's hardened and so it'll be able to, uh, take the abuse of the hot chips without, you know, uh, melting it. And, you know, like that old oil based paint was a great, good paint, but you know, as soon as, uh, as soon as something hot landed on it, you gotta, you gotta divot mark. Um, and no way this, this, uh, don't get me wrong. This, this machine's not going to be a museum piece, but, uh, you know, I wanted to, I want to breathe a kind of new life into it. Uh, I, I kind of, in a way I felt like it was going to be too expensive to get it ground um and have all the other work done to it but on the other hand i could have just flipped this machine to the next guy and i, I considered that but i felt that it's just one step closer to the graveyard of the junkyard to get scrapped i didn't want to part it out i don't want to see it get scrapped um i mean it's for me uh i'm you know i guess i'm a little sentimental uh about uh, American industry about the way uh, things are going in America and you know as Mr. Pete would say the dismantling of America uh, I kind of feel like um, it's it, it's it's a horrible thing you know I, a lot of machines are being made overseas and and I guess there's nothing we could do about that but if I can save this machine and give it another who knows uh, 30 50 years of life uh, it'll, you know, I'm sure it'll outlive me hopefully and, and to me, that would be a good thing. I'd be happy to see that happen. I'd hate to, you know, I'd, have, I'd be happy to see uh, the next guy get it and have something that he can be proud of and use and that will make nice, uh, accurate work uh, up to his skill level. And I think this, this is a lathe that can do that. Um, I think this lathe, you know, if it's reground, everything is brought back into spec. Uh, I think this lathe will last a, an awful long time. I mean, you could see there's still... Uh, early 1900s war production machine still going strong um, so why can't this machine so anyway in, in, in that instance uh, that's gonna be a good thing and, and hopefully uh, I'm gonna learn a little about scraping myself uh, I made a few contacts with a couple guys in my area and um, I, I might you know I might actually hire out some of this job to them uh, you know, under under the pretense that I could kind of watch them and get an idea what they're doing. I mean, there's there's a lot of scraping guru, gurus out there. Um, I you know, at this point, I don't think I'm not retired. I have a full time job. I don't think I could ever become like them. But uh, it, it'd be interesting to watch watch them do their magic and and see if we can uh, do something with this machine and make it nice again. So um, anyway, so that's that's you know that's going to be. Uh, 
an upcoming video series what I want to do with this lathe what I want to fix this machine um, uh, again I'm, I'm gonna go through the whole thing I'm gonna go through the spindle bearings um, I'm gonna try to make it you know as, as good condition that I possibly can uh, and I can't promise that it's gonna get done uh, in any short order I got a lot of stuff going on I uh, really didn't need another project but kind of figured um, the machine was available I figured I'd grab it uh, get it started and uh, and I could go go from there because um, you know it like I said I just I, I felt bad I didn't want to see the machine scrapped or, or go to the next guy who would just beat the crap out of it and then from there I'd go to the junkyard so anyway uh, that's what's going on here at the shop uh, I guess uh, I'll call it quits for this video and uh, I hope you guys are doing some cool stuff at your shop making some stuff uh, my next my next update <coughs> excuse me will probably be uh, this Saturday because I'll be back at the shop on Saturday um, I ordered some tooling uh, for the mill I ordered some stuff for some carbide inserts I ordered some stuff for the lathe uh, and hopefully I can make some stuff or putter around the uh, workshop on Saturday and um, at that point uh, we'll go from there so again uh, if you like the the video please subscribe hit the check box so you get uh, updates about the videos and you see more of this project and some of the other projects going on here at the workshop so uh, I'm out have a great week and uh, take care